percentage is really high with both of these. Ten finger and the Cobra neck crank. We're half hatch or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Tito Ortiz tapped Yuki Kano with it in their title fight. I am really high percentage with it. If you can't because of rules, tap them to a neck crank, but you can usually pressure and use it. Um, and I do have footage doing this snap and boom on the 100 kilogram combat wrestling champion. Neck cranks aren't allowed in combat wrestling. So you can mount to a five finger guillotine and finish that uh, off as well. So we're doing three submissions. We're snapping them, boom. I got this chin strap and nice and cuffed, okay? I chuck it to the center of my chest. Now I'm not trying to lift him, but it's what he had to covering my, covering his hips and his back. I watch my hip walk. Duck in. Now, he's walking backwards, fighting and hand control. Maybe he gets hand control on this wrist, the one, because it's easy to pull off. The one on the shin's pretty solid, but it's really easy to hand fight. This one, because it's not secure. My hand, I'm just cuffing underneath. That's when I go here. Okay, nice tight circle. Hip to hip, nice tight circle. I'm taking him down, and I'm sinking. Pulling that chin out, and I'm lifting. Here's my tap. But if I don't tap them, I can still stay here, drop the shoulder to the mat, the knee across the belly, and now I'm gonna hip back. And I, I, I drop the shoulder to the mat, sorry, you okay? I drop the shoulder to the mat, and I go back here for a one-handed or five-finger guillotine. So, take it to the point of almost making him tap, if you can't the rules. And then slide the knee across so you the mount, dip your shoulder, and finish your five finger how you like to do it. Okay, some guys will stay down. I like to roll here and then kind of roll up. This is how I finish it. So, got my nice deep underhook. I just took them down. I got my chin strap. Boom. I'm gonna tap, 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 and maybe you screwed up. And you let it back hit the mat. And now here's where some guys can tough it out is because you're rolling them up and you're not really getting it. Or because of the rules. I'm going to dip the shoulder, slide, boom, now I keep my shoulder to the mat, and now I roll back. So dip and roll. So we're just going to finish off with that because a couple of you can tap with the neck crank. And I had that situation where I could have tapped the guy and I was like, well, I'm trying to play by his rules. So I attacked him with the five finger, the one hand. Any questions on it? You got it? Good? Okay, so go through. Walk him in, okay? They defend, cement mixer, go to the Cobra neck crank. Before they tap, or you're having too much muscle, or he's too much bigger than you, maybe you can tough it out. You can choke him better than Maybe the crank. So just roll in, roll the shoulder, dip down, and then I like to arch back. If you have a different way, pull, whatever. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. 